is not a sad story that I'm going to tell you. My niece Morgan died when she was six years old. My best friend Michelle was diagnosed with cancer and died. And the same year I was diagnosed with two chronic illnesses, gave up my career and my identity. But some things have come along in the last three years that have not replaced those things but have added to my life. I got a baby. I got in touch with my creative side and I have some friends who are much closer and I didn't have them before. It's going to be really hard for me to stand still, forget it. Okay. Morgan had two little brothers when she was ill. One of them, Jason, was 13 months old and the other one was three. It always took three to four adults to be in the house at all times with a sick child and two small children under the age of three. I was lucky enough to get the baby. In fact, the first time I ever brought him home, I called my husband I said, do you mind if I bring Jason home? He just threw up all <laughs> over me. One of the things Jason liked to do when I was babysitting him when the rest of his family was in Washington, he liked to sit on my lap and watch baby Einstein videos. Thank goodness for baby Einstein videos. <laughs> yes, yes. He would like to have his bottle of milk and I would drink my cup of coffee and we would watch the videos. One of our favorite characters was the purple zebra. So I created purple zebra stories to keep them entertained. For example, one day the purple zebra came to visit Matthew and Jason, but it was raining and their mother wouldn't let them go out to play. The boys are older now and they want to tell the story. Aline, 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 I have a story, a story, can I tell you a story of the story uh, about the purple zebra Mario? They can't get their stories out fast enough. I have a confession to make to you all. I was a boy. I didn't have a sex change operation, but I was sandwiched between two brothers, which is why Matthew and Jason and I seem so natural. Growing up, my mother desperately wanted me to wear pink little frilly dresses and I wouldn't wear them. I insisted that I wear my older brother's clothes. One of my favorite pictures is me in a pair of my brother's shorts, they're striped. The shirt is checkered and I have on a baseball cap on my blonde curly hair. And I'm looking at my father who's got me on this barbecue grill and I just know What's going through my mind and what I'm going to say at that moment is, Daddy, I love you. One of the things that I discovered while I was being this tomboy was my grandmother did not like that. Helene, you will learn to crochet, you'll learn to sew, you'll learn to iron. I was five, so you can get a man. <laughs> I'm not sure that mattered to my husband at all. But one of the good things that came out of that is I did learn to crochet. And when my very best friend Michelle was diagnosed, I desperately wanted to give her something that was important. So I crocheted my first hat. It is a very loving friend who will take that hat and put it on. Are you all insinuating it wasn't good? And she said, Helene, 
It's lovely. <laughs> and that was Michelle. Everything about her was like that. When I lost Michelle, I thought my heart would break. There was such a big hole inside of me. But two people made a difference. Her other best friend who lived on the West Coast and a friend called Mary. Her friend from the West Coast, I happened to answer the phone one day at Michelle's house. And I said, when Michelle goes, can I have you as a friend? And actually, she is. In fact, she helped me put this story together. My other friend, Mary, who I was friendly with. I knew her from kayaking. I left that off of my bio. But yet, we were never close. And she came to me after the service. And she said, Helene, I know I'll never take Michelle's place but I'd like to be closer to you. And she is. Through all of this, one of the things that I have learned is the tapestry of life is full of different yarns of friends and family, life and death, and every other thing. And it's the beauty that has enriched my life with these wonderful connections. Thank you, that's my story.